On the previous video, we talked about real numbers. In this video, we're going to talk about the basic properties of real numbers. Some properties of real numbers are like common sense to us. For instance, we know that 2 plus 5 is the same as 5 plus 2. 6 plus 11 plus 1 is the same as 1 plus 6 plus 11. 3 multiplied by 8 is equal to 8 multiplied by 3. 5 times 5 times 6 times 6 yields the same result as 6 times 5 times 6 times 5. Now let us formalize these common senses about real numbers. Real numbers have the following basic properties. Commutative property, associative property, distributive property, identity property, and inverse property. Let's discuss each property one by one. The commutative property applies to addition and multiplication. For addition, it states that when we add numbers, the order of the operands does not matter. A plus B is equal to B plus A. A plus B plus C is equal to C plus A plus B. Likewise, for multiplication, the order of the operands does not matter. A times B is the same as B times A. A times B times C times D is the same as B times A times D times C. It doesn't matter how we arrange the numbers from left to right. The associative property also applies to addition and multiplication. For addition, it states that when we add numbers, it doesn't matter which groups are added first. The sum of a and b plus c is the same as a plus the sum of b and c. The sum of a, b, and c plus d is equal to the sum of a and b plus the sum of c and d. Likewise, for multiplication, it doesn't matter which groups are multiplied first. The product of a and b times c is the same as a times the product of b and c. a times the product of b and c times d is the same as a times the product of b, c, and d. It doesn't matter how we arrange the order of precedence. A not-so-intuitive property of real numbers is the distributive property. When we multiply a number by a sum of numbers, we get the same result as multiplying the number by each term and then adding the result. A times the sum of B and C is equal to the product of A and B plus the product of A and C. A times the sum of B, C, and D is the same as AB plus AC plus AD. Multiplication is distributed among the terms of the sum. Example 1. Show that the sum of 2 and 3 times the sum of 5 and 8 is equal to the sum of 3 times 5, 3 times 8, 2 times 5, and 2 times 8. By the distributive property, the left-hand side is equal to the sum of 2 and 3 times 5 plus the sum of 2 and 3 times 8. By the distributive property, this becomes sum of 2 times 5 and 3 times 5 plus the sum of 2 times 8 and 3 times 8. By associative property, we can write this as 2 times 5 plus 3 times 5 plus 2 times 8 plus 3 times 8. And finally, by commutative property, we can rearrange this as 3 times 5 plus 3 times 8 plus 2 times 5 plus 2 times 8, which evaluates to 65. The next property of real numbers is the identity property, which also applies to both addition and multiplication. In case of addition, the number 0 is called the additive identity. 0 added to a number equals the number. a plus 0 is equal to a. In case of multiplication, the number 1 is called the multiplicative identity. 1 multiplied to a number equals the number. a times 1 is equal to a. The fifth property of our scope which also applies with addition and multiplication is the inverse property. In case of addition, every non-zero real number has an additive inverse. 
which is a number that satisfies the equation a plus negative of a equals zero. Additive inverse is basically the negative of the number. In case of multiplication, every non-zero real number has a multiplicative inverse, which is a number that satisfies the equation a times 1 over a equals 1. Multiplicative inverse is basically the reciprocal of the number. From the inverse property of addition, we can define subtraction as the addition of the negative of a number. a minus b is basically a plus the negative of b. Likewise, from the inverse property of multiplication, we can define division as the multiplication by the reciprocal of the number. a over b is basically a times 1 over b. Example 2. Show that negative of negative a equals a. We start with the identity property for addition. a plus negative a equals 0. Now if we let r be equal to negative a, then a plus r equals 0. By commutative property, we can write r plus a equals 0. But if we write the identity property in terms of r, then r plus negative r equals 0. From these two equations, we can say negative r equals a. Remember that r is negative a. So therefore, negative of negative a equals a. Example 3. Show that the negative of the negative of the negative of negative 5 equals 5. From the previous example, we know that negative of negative a is a. In this case, a is 5. So we first evaluate negative of negative 5, which is 5. And the negative of negative 5 is 5. Example 4. Show that 1 over a times 1 over b equals 1 over product of a and b. To show this, we multiply both sides of the equation by a, b. Now the right hand side reduces to 1 from the inverse property of multiplication. By commutative property, we can arrange the left hand side as a times 1 over a times b times 1 over b. By associative property, we can consider this as product of a and 1 over a times the product of b and 1 over b. Now the terms inside the parentheses reduces to 1 from the inverse property. And since both sides reduces to 1, therefore 1 over a times 1 over b equals 1 over a b. Example 5. Show that a over b times c over d equals a c over b d. From our definition of division, a over b is basically a times 1 over b, and c over d is basically c times 1 over d. By associative property, we can rewrite this as product of a and c times the product of a over b and 1 over d. From the previous example, 1 over b times 1 over d is equal to 1 over bd. Rearranging by associativity, we have AC times 1 over BD. And from the definition of division, this simplifies to AC over BD. Example 6. Find 2 thirds times 1 fifth. Using example 5, 2 over 3 times 1 over 5 is equal to 2 times 1 over 3 times 5 equals 2 over 15. Example 7. Show that a over b times b over a equals 1. We can rewrite the equation as product of a and 1 over b times product of b and 1 over a. We can remove the parentheses from associative property. By commutative property, we can write a times 1 over a times b times 1 over b. By associative property, 
we can now write product of a and 1 over a times product of b and 1 over b. The terms inside the parentheses reduces to 1 by inverse property, which finally evaluates to 1. Example 8. Find the reciprocal of 1 half. From example 7, we know that a over b times b over a equals 1. Recall that the product of a number and its multiplicative inverse, or reciprocal, is 1. Therefore, the reciprocal of a over b is b over a. In this case, we have a equals 1 and b equals 2. So therefore, the reciprocal is b over a equals 2 over 1 equals 2. So those are the basic properties of real numbers. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.